Cookie, since 1990, this is not my level, but because of friendship. Crack cocaine is extremely potent. It is one of the most addictive forms of cocaine and has led to the destruction of families and lives. This is a disease spreading like wildfire nationwide. It has stolen many lives and shattered the dreams of many. the hint crack cocaine is treated here and so I set my cameras rolling drug sellers here barely come out in the open they mostly operate in these makeshift structures many of them call bunker I got closer to these young men who are known as the main guys on the street clients craving for a fix come to them and they get sorted out 29-year-old Erica Addo, not her real name, had just bought the crack cocaine before we crossed paths. Wrapped in a tiny torn paper, she unwraps it and begins the process of getting high. This 24-year-old man is one of the residential clients going through counseling to overcome his addiction to cannabis. Every morning, he says a prayer to Allah to guide him through his journey to recovery. He's been here for two months. He started smoking when he was 18 years old in senior high school. He grew up from a broken home and did not really have a relationship with his dad while growing up. I was having trouble with academic performance and I had a lot of pressure coming from my dad to set up and um, put in the results. But even though I was putting in the effort, the results wasn't coming. So um, I, I decided to look for, I'll say like a temporary escape at that time. Yeah, and also um, I grew up in a kind of strict family and I felt like I always felt like a black sheep at home. This is gripping and this one is just a cutting it's just a teaser actually and the man who produced this got everybody convinced to be part of this on condition of anonymity is right here um, Godwin. How are you? Fine thing. Again another interesting title to mm. a documentary Married to Cocaine. Yeah. What a title? Um, because a number of people, uh, I felt if you're addicted to something, it's like you have a relationship with a thing. Mm -hmm. So why not use married to cocaine? And if you speak to most of the addicts, they actually use those terms. Like, oh, I'm married to this, I'm married to that. Oh, wow. So that's how come I used that title. How easy was it getting, because um, a lot, quite a few of them were able to speak to you and sit down with you, and how easy was it to convince them to open up to that point? You know, it wasn't actually easy. Because uh, the first day I went to the community to do the story, which I wouldn't mention for now, subsequently when you get to watch it, um, the people around that particular place weren't really friendly to me. Mm. Because immediately they see your cameras, they begin to act as though, you know, you're coming to show things yeah. that they don't want it in the public and all of that. So it wasn't actually easy. But then I have a way of doing my thing. Mm. When I get to a particular place, place I try to build a relationship with some of the people around mm. try to make them understand the reason why I am here and also um, if they want to speak to me on anonymity their privacy is assured when it comes to that so I mean it wasn't really easy to convince them but I mean at the end uh, I was able to do that and it's it always comes out good for me when I try to speak to such people in such locations I don't know how I do it but I think my my tricks are working perfectly. Yeah. What intrigued you to 
select the subject in the first place. So I was working on a story um, titled All Jobs for Survival, where a number of people go to um, the dirty drains to pick scrap metals and use bottles for sale mm. in that same location where I did the documentary. So usually when these guys go there to pick most of these stuff, uh, they go back to a certain place in the community to sell mm. just to earn some money and go back to the drugs. Wow. Yes. So it's like because of they are addicted, they can go the extra mile to do any kind of job at all to get the money that they want to satisfy their cravings. So whilst I was speaking to them, I realized most of them were addicted to cocaine. So I had to follow up to know exactly where they get the cocaine from. And then that's how come I, I landed on this documentary. But um, what are some of the reasons? Because to each person, there are reasons for either starting the addiction, mm -hmm. uh, maintaining the addiction, and not choosing to get clean. Yeah. What were some of the biggest factors that have led to an increase in the use of cocaine, cocaine. and crack cocaine in the community? M most of them are depressed. Mm. Most of them uh, come to Accra to see greener pastures. Mm. They come here not having any relatives and they end up, you know, engaging themselves with some sort of gangs or mm. societies. If you go to um, Circle, for instance, most people who come to the capital always end up there and you find them at night sleeping under the overpass. So when they come there and they meet with such people and because they are struggling to get the jobs to survive, they end up getting themselves into drug addiction, mm. either tramadol, cocaine, heroin, a number of them. Because they believe that if they do if they do that, it takes them off the pressure of thinking much as to how they will earn a living. Mm. And it's like when they when they take that drug, it gives them some sort of satisfaction. So you take it in the morning and you don't feel like eating anything mm. till evening because you don't have money to buy food. Wow. Exactly. Wow. How interesting. So um, there's a huge rate of people that are using cocaine, specifically crack cocaine. Of course. Now, what is the average cost price for, for this in, 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 in the community that it is? So it's actually relatively cheap Okay. because um, the crack cocaine, which comes in a rocky form, mm. it's very small, but I, I think it's about 40 cities. Wow. And then they have the heroin. So you take the crack cocaine. Um, I actually brought one of the things that they put it on. Oh, wow. So this is called... Um, so this is a manufactured... Yes. I think it's from um, the palm kernel. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's from what? Palm kernel. Palm yeah. kernel. Okay. So it's called bunka. That's bunka. what the boys call it. Bunka. Uh, so okay. they've improvised so with the... To, um, okay. Smoking pipe. Mm. Yeah. So you put the crack on it mm. on top of this and then you heat it. then you heat it so you smoke the cigarette um, ashes you put the ash on this and then put the rock on top so you know when you put the the smoke on it it comes with this fire effect i don't know how mm. they do it yeah this mushy mm. fire exactly so they do it and then you put this in your mouth so when you then oh you, so, oh okay, so they inhale from oh, there. Yes, oh it has you, an actual is exactly an actual, oh, wow yeah so you bought this? No, I didn't. I got it from one of them. Uh, one of the users? Yes. So this is a used one? Yes, this is a used did one. Did you sanitize it? I did. Of course I did. Nice. So, so you, this is the opening. So how yes. much is this? I don't know the price oh. for this. Yeah. So you do you put a crack on top of it, then add the um, cigarette ashes to it, and then mm. you start to inhale. So, so that that's exactly what the guy is doing. On. And when you're doing it, you have to take your time not to Spill lose the, the vapor right. that might come. Because, oh. yeah, Uber Walker. <laughs> no, say that again. When you are inhaling it, mm -hmm. just like how the guy is doing, mm -hmm. you have to take your time. You don't have to talk to anyone. You have it involves much concentration to be able to capture to be able all to, of it. Exactly. So I go fill them. Exactly. And then they smoke it. Yeah. What do they say they get out of it? Satisfaction. Like the way we eat fufu and get satisfied. Exactly. And surprisingly, when they take the crack cocaine, they take the heroin too. Mm cool it down else you can take about 10 um pieces of the cocaine and, and you so wouldn't no, be, be satisfied yeah so you so have to take the heroin to you know make you feel relaxed calm. exactly whoa it okay so you. you have to so the crack cocaine is just like a, a starter exactly and then heroin the is the meal. main meal yeah exactly to mm. some extent mm -hmm. or the desserts mm. <laughs> main meal and desserts. but beyond crack cocaine and heroin were there also increased use of other um, substances. I, I, yeah, we saw marijuana. recently that um, uh, even super glue. Now mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. there's a shortage of super glue in certain areas because they, they they 
light the super glue and inhale it. Yeah. And that gives them a high as well, exactly. mixed with energy drinks. Yeah. So are, are those substances also found there? In that particular community, I'm sure we would find, you know, such substances if we are to look into mm, it. Mm. Because most of them are not just addicted to the crack cocaine. And they start from somewhere. Okay. Most of them started from marijuana, mm. cough syrups, tramadol. So it, it gets to a point where they don't get the satisfaction. So it's mm. like you're always looking for an, an alternative, alternative high. to yeah, yeah. To, to get, get more high, to get higher. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Okay. So in order not to spill the beans, mm. because this is supposed to create the suspense so mm. that people watch it, because it will be streamed live as well as live here, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, what message are we going to get from the human interests? I mean, what picture are you going to paint in this documentary from the human interest angle? Yeah, just like you rightly indicated, it is a human interest story. Mm. And we are looking at how it is destroying lives. Mm. It gets to a point where when you become addicted to crack cocaine, you can't even do anything. And that is according to the... You mean uh, you can't work? As, as in, you can't control it. Mm. The substance controls your brain. Mm. Mm. So you want to stop and you cannot stop it. I, I, I engage some addicts who are actually in the rehab. rehab who are trying to get off the addiction. They are there for like a year or a year and a half. They, they come back. back home and they relapse. So it is very strong and according to um, some of the the people who the counselors, mm. they, they made mention that it is very strong that you can go I mean, any extent to get a drug by stealing, doing prostitution and all of that. And that's oh. how come when you go to somewhere around Circle or any of the, you know, neglected Interest areas, area. the slums, you find that most of the young girls are involved in prostitution and all that okay. just to be able to satisfy so themselves. this one is concentrating on a ghetto area. Mm. Exactly. But do I get the understanding that those who are addicted to either crack or cane mm -hmm. or regular, you know, or marijuana, etc., are only found in those areas? No. So have regular people take it. No, if you go to Osu, for instance, or somewhere around East Ligon and Adabraka, um, there's this drink called Amen. Mm. They get it from weed. It's like mixing weed with Akpetishi and some other substances. Mm. And on Friday night, you find most of the boys and girls, like, taking it just to... Get high. Give them a certain vibe mm. to have fun on Fridays. They mix it with toffees, um, cakes, also called brownies, just to be able to. So it's mm. not just in the slums; it's mm. everywhere. Wow, mm. how interesting! Charlie, you did great work. Thank Especially you. Especially persuading um, the respondent to give you those interviews, yeah. and then the shots trying to go according to uh, your terms and condition, and then your promise to mm. keep, keep them yeah. anonymous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, their identity well and Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll stay glued to our, our screens tomorrow and watch it, as well as the streams, right? Sure. TV3 Ghana. Mm. Yeah. Charlie, great work again. Yes. Thank you. Title again is Married to Cocaine. Cocaine. All right, so we'll play the promo again before we. Okay.